Hello everyone, and welcome to my newest Let's Play. We are going to be playing Hinterland, which is a very interesting mix of RPG and town sim. So, um, I think we want a new character here. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, what do we want to be? I think maybe you just go for like a knight type thing. Uh, what are we seeing? Uh, closest. Oh, maybe we do have a knight. There we go. Excellent equipment, adequate resources, improved speed with all weapons, but diminished on gold and food production. Good enough, I think. Face. Uh, uh, I guess we'll take that one. No, I don't think so. Going to be Larry the Knight. Yes. Um, we'll put our easy difficulty, short game length, because I just a decent playthrough. I um, want to include the resources. Keep the fog war on. Quests and raiders. There we go. Okay, on we go. And I'm going to pause it here for the extremely long loading screen to start. I will be right back. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are but now starting the game. Our assignment is to tame this area and defeat all the enemies in the region. We can use the region map, we gotta make sure we produce food. Every unit in the villager eats food every day. Um, he has requests for us every once in a while that give us fame and sometimes items and such. Um, we lose if we run out of food, the town is destroyed, or the fame completely dies. Uh, we're not playing in hardcore, so if I die I'll respawn back in town with a fame cut, which kind of sucks, but that's how it is. Uh, yeah, townspeople can be taken from their homes to follow you in battle and stop working. Uh, that's one of the things. As you grow your town, you get different townspeople and such that show up. And depending on who you want to be working and who you want to come adventuring with you, you could have four people in your party. Um, as a knight, I probably want a healer and either a ranged or an off tank for the others. Yeah, we get fame from defeating enemies, we lose some stuff when we fall, or a follower is slain, or if we kick somebody out. Hmm, I didn't know we lose fame when you kick an incapacitated follower from town. Hmm. Okay, da 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 um, being the knight that I am, take some attack, collect more gold, improve attack, Ex let's go re resourceful, I need the extra food. So, we have two people joining us, or set to join us here. We've got a herder, which produces food, and this looks like an innkeeper, it's a good man, which produces gold, which is very important. Um, she'll be in, day, in town four days, so that's enough that I can leave that alone and go exploring here, kill some monsters, come back and have money. So, this is our little map here. Each one of those little trees is a region we have to clear. Um, the little yellow dots indicate the strength of the region. And of course, this is the town. That's me. Click there. Can pause for one with that. Let's turn that off there. Onward! Go see what we're up against in this first area here. It looks like some wolves. Be good, they'll have furs for us. Yes, they will furs worth one gold each. And a trapper's thing. I... Eight remaining in this little den here. Quite a few of them, actually. We should be okay, we've got five health potions, and these are just weak little level one stuff. Now we have six health potions. Die. 
This is the, the majority of the game is just a little Diablo run around and kill some dwarves. Yeah, kill some dwarves. Right. Okay. Grab some stuff there. Did I move both of those? Yes, I must have. And as my knight, I can't heal unless I go to town. So I'm gonna run back to town here. If you look on your mini map, in the lower left there, you see the little house icon showing the direction. Otherwise, it can be kind of confusing. Uh, this button in the middle here sorts things. Let's go over there. Town icons over there. So let's look at our town. Not much to it. Me and an outpost. But we've got the money to build the hostess for the good man or good woman, as it may be. Let's build it there. Now we still have six gold left. Uh, and he'll be in town for four days, so hopefully we can get him soon. And we'll go right back out to the the battling. We don't want to take her out battling with us. We could. But I want her to start making some gold, get that extra gold, get the boost going at the beginning here. More wolves to kill. Clear out this map here. Oh, that's not good. Okay, these guys real quick. Come on, let me loot. Let me loot. Back to town. Let's see where they come from. Well, of course, the opposite side. set to run, so we should be good. Dark elves. Just two, two dark elves, not bad at all. Okay, at this point, I think I want to tell her to fight the enemy. Because she probably could have handled those, even at level one. Fight the enemy if they come attacking. I'm talking to that follower. Looks like we have new followers. Yes, I want to get a farmer. Farmer is important for the base food of the town. And they're cheap. It's part of the best part of it. Um, a trapper might be good, because we have that snare to give them. But of course, we're low on gold, as this game likes to be. We have some resources here. Um, that's a grave. That's like a, a crypt. I think it is. This is souls. Souls are used to hire a necromancer if they come to visit. Uh, stone. That's a stone quarry. Um, those herbs. I think herbs. No, it's mandrakes. Okay. And then that's spring water. And depending on what resources you have, you can build certain things and invite more people to your town. This, that, and the other thing. So let's go up here, kill some more wolves. Here, puppy, puppy, puppy. New visitor. Yeah, when you don't have someone sitting there, you can have new people show up. Because I've only had the game in a little bit here, so that's not good. Cool. Let's go back to the den and get this cleared out. There you are. Kill the puppy! Poor little puppy. There's snares. Furs. Okay. So that's cleared out. Let's go after water next, I think.
get some. Ah, fresh water for the town. Wonderful. Raises our town quality as well as... I'm not sure what uses fresh water, but nothing wrong with that. It doesn't anything when we click on it. Right, okay, onward to the Minotaurs. Um, actually, first let's go back to town and heal up. Could use a potion, but I don't have a herbalist yet to make more potions for me, so I want to save those as best I can. Once I get back in town, my health starts going back up. So, let's see, do we want a trapper? We already have a farmer producing food, and we might as well take a trapper. And we don't have crystal ball yet for the other money-making person. We don't have any herbs yet for herbalist, so let's just go ahead and build a home for Brunhild. See, and R rotates. Options we have. Now I can click on the advertise right there and kick those people away from my town, the visitors, and get a new set of visitors, but it costs six gold at this point, and I can't really afford that. So, I'm all healed up. Onward! Kill some minotaurs. Still level one minotaurs. Should be too tough. Down he goes. Three gold is nice. Take all the gold we can get. Bring it on, please. You need a push on you guys. will become very useful to use and just get it over and over. New day. One more minute to go. Just clear the site. So, let's take a look at the region here. Hmm, there's a base over there. That must be where those dark elves came from. Let's see what's down here. Spiders. I have leveled up. Deal with that after I get rid of these spiders. Don't die, spiders. And like any good RPG, animals drop random crap, like healing potions and fertilizer. So, this the game. Character has reached a new level. I think I'm gonna go for defense today. Tough for health, more gold from loot, recovery health and ten. I'm gonna go. I think gold is very important. Let's choose that. 